Greetings and salutations, internet friends, and welcome back to another episode of the First Time Film Club. My name is Emily, your titular first timer. This is Matthew, my husband, Cinema Sherpa, and viewer submitted title <laughs> Immovable Object. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> That one was submitted by Hawk Skull. Thank you so much. That gave me a giggle. I appreciate that. Uh, normally, this would be the part where I introduce our cat Pippin, uh, but he's sleeping behind the couch. And when we tried to call him out, he was like not having it. <laughs> he's like, I'm good. <laughs> so he might join us later. We'll see. Who's to he's say? here? He's just back there. <laughs> he's just a cat. He's just doing cat things. For those of you joining us for the first time, hi. How are you? Hope you're doing well. What we're doing here is watching our way through a very long list of movies that typically I've never seen, but that Matthew has. However, I think this is one of those random films that we both haven't seen. Yes, I have not seen this movie. Okay. Um, that being said, Matthew, uh, this is one of our just some super fan patron picks. Boom. What is the movie we're watching? Uh, today, we are watching the 2006 horror comedy Fido. And normally I would give you the uh, year, genre, and title. You go in whatever you already know, then we watch it and review it. But neither of us know anything about this. Uh, all I did was put the title of the movie in Google to get the year and the genre. So do you know anything about this movie? I don't. Even like I pulled this up like to start the movie and I, I just glimpsed at the names and I was like, I don't know any of these names. So I don't know the synopsis. I don't know any characters. I don't know any actors it's gonna be interesting okay i assume yeah, <laughs> yeah. other than the uh the google information i found i i didn't see any actors or anything i didn't see any names so yeah no, I, no prior research none of that i want to go in blind yeah i mean i'm making a bold assumption that there's a dog in it because of fido but who's to say who's to say uh the only other thing for first time viewers is you may see me on my phone in my hand during the movie and that's because i'm taking notes on things to talk about afterwards and with that being said, I'm ready to watch. All right, let's get into it. A cloud of radiation engulfed our great planet. Scientists discovered that these space particles caused the reanimation of dead bodies. Oh. Zombies. And so we were forced to defend our homeland. The zombie wars. Oh. In our darkest hour, a savior. Zomcon. Oh. <laughs> Zomcon built security systems like the perimeter fence that encloses our towns in a wall. Of <laughs> then, a breakthrough, the domestication collar, making the zombie as gentle as a household pet. No. <laughs> yep. <laughs> For those who can afford it, a Zomcon funeral, complete with head coffin, a burial you won't come back from. Zomcon, a better life. Through containment. Wow. So this like is it. basically just what happened after Night of the Living Dead. New head of security at ZomCon, who is not only a decorated hero of the zombie wars, but is also ZomCon's official safety expert. Oh, la la. He's the father of our newest and I suspect our brightest student, Cindy. Oh, I like <laughs> your glasses. So without ZomCon, we'd all be dead. And then where would we be? D dead. You dead. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when she kisses and holds me tight, she's like nine and nine pounds of dynamite. My baby is a good to me. Oh my. A real package of TNT. He looks like he could be a Culkin. Hmm. I can see it. Oh. Trying to make Zomcon look stupid? That wouldn't be heard. <laughs> what did you say? Smile. Make up your eyes with I'm loving the setting. It's like 50s era. Yeah. Yo, yo. Oh, pick up the box. Don't ah. That's no way to treat a bicycle. Sorry, Mrs. Henderson. What have I told you about leaving your bike on the lawn? I'll put it away properly. It ain't your lawn, bitch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what are you looking at, Theopolis? <laughs> Dislike. Mm -mm. I'm gonna take this apple pie over to our new neighbors. See if they actually own all those zombies. Hey, Carrie Moss. The Matrix? 
sure. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I love this. Just leave it to Beaver with zombies. Uh, yes, exactly. Hello, just the way you like it. nurse. I have a surprise for you. Oh, I didn't know what she grabbed for a second <laughs> there. Isn't it wonderful? Oh Lord, he was in the zombie wars. I met our new neighbors today. They have six zombies. And when his wife asked me how many we had, I, I didn't know what to say. So I told her we had one. What? What was I supposed to do? Tell her that my husband is afraid of zombies? Yeah, that's sensible. <laughs> well, not in a world where zombies are commonplace now. I mean, and safer than before. That's pretty impressive that the zombie can wear heels. Huh. Oh, uh-uh. Mm-mm, no, mm-mm, no, mm-mm. Grandma's fallen and he's getting up. <laughs> he almost got him! Almost got him! <laughs> <laughs> Whew, almost spit it up. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, Aren't you gonna help me practice, Dad? Oh, is that today? You already changed it from yesterday. Oh. I already got the driving range books. When other dads take their kids to the driving range? No. Wow, y'all are terrible. No, they don't. Honey, honey, please don't play baseball by yourself. It makes you look lonely. <laughs> <laughs> it's a baseball. You throw it. Oh. He throws like me. You throw like a girl. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. Where do you want to get shot? Nowhere. Get shot, Roy. Ha 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 ha. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I know. How about Fido? I feel like that was a no. <laughs> Not a dog. Not a dog. <laughs> it's a story of a boy and a zombie. Can't bear to look at you. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. There it is. What do you think? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Daddy, can we go now? I can't be late for my first ballet class. All right, princess, get in. Bye, Cindy. I hate ballet. <laughs> All right, Cindy, you go. <laughs> I'm still stuck on that. My mom and your mom think we should be friends. Sorry. Sorry. And she's been missing since this morning? Mr. Henderson should have put her in her retirement home years ago. Those <laughs> homes are very comfortable and secure. They're only secure because they used the old prison. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and old people can't be trusted. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, we God. had a lot of trouble with old people during the war. They could die at any moment and then become a zombie. <laughs> He must have been, what, ten? Any kills? <sighs> Just one. It was his father. But you're fine now, aren't you, honey? <laughs> <laughs> Families having to kill their own. Never lose sight of that. Take Dee Dee's head off in a second if I had to. <laughs> <laughs> he always says that. <laughs> we all remember what happened to the Johnsons when their zombie ate those Christmas carolers. <laughs> Did Zomcon really chuck them into the wild zone? That's probably how the Bottoms got their house. Bill? Jesus. I think it's nice that you're caring so much about Mrs. Henderson, but I think she's going to be just fine. Mm. 
<laughs> uh, I love it. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Stay away, Mrs. Henderson. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Henderson. Uh, don't apologize. You did what you had to do. Yeah. Don't bitter. worry about it, Beef. You weren't very nice, Mrs. Henderson. But I'm really sorry you're dead. Oh. Now you're in a garden. You always liked plants, so I hope that's okay. Oh. All right, nice kid. <laughs> you're too good for this world, kid. Fido? <laughs> oh, no! Your collar. Hey, Timmy. Zombie trouble? Oh. <laughs> Not the teeth, Tammy. Not the teeth, Tammy. <sighs> Don't like. Where'd you get all this stuff? Part of my severance package when huh. I quit Zomcon. Here you go, Sparky. Mm. Oh! Not a word of this to anyone. Love is pure gold when you summon a home. Someone you bring Oh no. Oh. No. Yep. No. No. <laughs> Don't judge. Nah. nah, but that's necrophilia. <laughs> Don't kick shame. I'm a judge. Is that dead suit? We don't need to mention it to your father. You look great, boy. I keep for a hot second thinking it's Bill Murray, zombie. Do we have to go? These Sunday drives are very important to your father. But it's weird. We never know anybody. Well, maybe this time we will. Uh-oh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Death. <laughs> Rigor mortis indeed. <laughs> I can't blame you, zombie. Head coffin, please. Head coffin. This guy's not coming back. You can bet on that. From dust have you come, and to dust shall you return, and from, and from dust, dust shall, shall you, you not be resurrected. Oh, buddy. Oh, did you just yeet that in there? Damn. Just Only 10% of people get funerals. Most become zombies. Can you believe that? Well, they are expensive. <laughs> I'd rather be a zombie than dead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on there. <laughs> At least he's not obsessed with funerals. Better than focusing on walking corpses mm -hmm. who should be buried without their heads. I don't understand why y'all burying folks at all. Bill, get your own funeral. Timmy and I are going zombie. <laughs> oh, wow. So, zombie or funeral for you? I was like, cremation. When you're there. <laughs> What's um, going on? Death I was just bringing the boys something to drink. Getting a little wet. Zombies don't mm. drink, Helen. Hey. Oh! <gasps> what? I have a secret to tell you. You're all wet, Helen. No thanks to you. <laughs> I'm saying that the Robinson zombie tried to eat you and then moved on to Mrs. Henderson. Well, he actually didn't try to bite us. Shut up, Stan. He broke my arm. We gotta get you back before Dad comes home. What the hell? Let's just shoot him now, Roy. Nah, let's stick to the plan. What are you doing? We're gonna be heroes. Oh, really? Steve Robinson. I'm gonna shoot him dead just before he gets to you. I'm gonna save your life and your zombie's gonna get blamed for everything. Jeez, Roy, blast him! Crap, you made me shoot my stupid brother! Oh! <laughs> Dumbass. Uh, uh, it's funny. <laughs> gonna work. You gotta go for help. <laughs> Timmy, what's wrong, boy? Timmy tied to a tree? Which way, Fido? Oh, I love the Is rear projection. The right <laughs> <laughs> Extra level of niceness. Why aren't you eating me? Mm. <laughs> <gasps> Please tell me she's gonna run over this kid. I hope so. Zombie. 
zombies and they were going to kill you. I know, Mom. And I don't want you thinking that what we did is normal or okay in any way. <laughs> Learning life lessons while you're burning down sheds with, you know, zombie zombie kids, it? I gather it was Helen's idea to get a zombie. <sighs> yes, it was. She seems pretty friendly with it. <laughs> I am trying to have a serious discussion with you, Ellen. We can dance, it's our wedding night. <laughs> that is enough. Well, if you're not going to dance with me, I know someone who will. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. 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 Nighty night. Put a collar on you. Oh, this is kind of like the Iron Giant if the mom wanted to bang the Iron Giant. <laughs> to me, are Timmy Richards, that dick. <laughs> I do. Because you made friends with a zombie, a lot of nice people in this neighborhood got killed. These little problems are all about containment. Mm. I loved Fido too, you know. You did? Well, in a way I did. Like Mr. Theopolis loves Tammy? <laughs> no, he does not. <laughs> That's a whole different thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the thing about your dad is that he is still a part of this family. He is? <laughs> <laughs> I expected him to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know when you're a kid, you feel things. A lot of things. But you have to get over that. Get over what? Feelings. Feelings. Not important. Okay? Oh. Being alive is what counts. But are you really alive if you're not feeling Exactly. Anymore? Just take those feelings and push them way down. Way down there. Ignore them. I had a great chat with Tim today. I think everything is going to be just fine. Bill, do you love me? <sighs> I'm pregnant. Oh. Oh? I'm sure it's nothing. You're just gaining a little weight. <laughs> wow. I just don't think on my salary I can afford another funeral. What? Are you sure? Huh? I heard daddy on the phone. He's got him working in the factory. Can you get us in there? Are you crazy? My dad would kill me. <laughs> no, I mean, he really would kill me. <laughs> but I know someone who can. Oh. Ugh, oh, don't like it. <laughs> Diopolis. Hi, Frank. What are you doing back here? Bringing the old unit in for a tune up. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why would you tell him? Don't tell him. I suppose you think he got so attached to the damn thing because I'm a bad father. I'd say I'm a pretty darn good father. <laughs> My father tried to eat me. I don't remember trying to eat Timmy. <laughs> Bill, just because your father tried to eat you, does that mean we all have to be unhappy? <laughs> now the door into the factory is right behind the clerk. You ready? I'm gonna be gone for a little while. You stay here. No! I dislike. I dislike. Wild zombie! Wild, Wild zombie. zombie! Oh, what? Gonna cause a distract, a mild distraction. Just a little. By killing multiple people. <laughs> Woo! Oh, oh no. no! That's my Tammy. You knucklehead! You knucklehead! <laughs> No need for such harsh language. I know. Oh boy. You naughty little boy. No, not you. I'll call you back. <laughs> Fido! I'll be right down! Uh oh. Hello, Timmy. Bill, give me that gun. I'm going in. You stay here in case Timmy shows up. No. Bill, give me the shotgun. I am a good fuck. No. <laughs> Are you? Okay. Remember, Hell, head coffin. Out there is chaos. In here is safety. People who don't understand that end up on the wrong side of the fence. Fido! 
Dad! Like, you know, let my son back inside. I'd like you. <laughs> you be quiet! Oh, my. oh, wow, you're doing great. Leave him alone! Uh oh. Oh no! Get him, boy! There we go. Got him! Uh oh. Uh oh. Mom! Where's your father? <laughs> He's having a bad day. See you later, Frank! <laughs> <laughs> Zomcon chief John Bottoms died valiantly while defending the people mm. of Willard from a wild zombie outbreak caused by this man, Frank Murphy. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, Frank. Are you ready, dear? Head coffin. Head coffin, please. <laughs> Bill Robinson, from dust have you come, and to dust shall you return. But from dust shall you not be resurrected. <laughs> Just the throwing Just in the... kills me. Uh, hey! hey uh, I did it. Hi, Timmy. Surprised? <laughs> sort of. It's okay. It's so cool in a way. And he's a lot nicer. Meh. <laughs> So much being said. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> no. Nice. Hang on a second. Who was Fido? Okay, Fido. Son, right? Fido. Billy Conley was Fido. I did not recognize him at all. Okay, so that was Fido. Also, Pippin finally decided to jump up here yeah. for the finale here. Mm -hmm. He said, I gotta make my entrance at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, overall thoughts? I mean, that was hilarious. That was fun. It was a very cute, interesting story. Yes, it was... Uh, you thought it was going to be have a dog in somewhere because yeah, of the name, yeah. but not a dog, but it was the story, like the age-old story of a boy and his dog, except it's a boy and a zombie. Mm -hmm. which, you know, as, you know, tale as old as time. I enjoyed the premise, and I enjoyed, I'm sorry, I, you, I wanted to get your thoughts first. Oh, well, I mean, I enjoyed the premise, yes. <laughs> and I enjoyed, uh, I think that this was... I think it was kind of like a perfect blend of because they use sort of like the the Pleasantville sort of vibe, right? And yeah. Pleasantville, mixed, leave it to Beaver, mm -hmm. very like picturesque, uh, uh, idyllic sort idyllic of Americana, American, middle America town, yeah, juxtaposed with zombies. Um, yes, I like that. I mean, like I said, the premise of you know a boy and a zombie also. Also, I really like the idea of a world where zombie, like where it's years past mm -hmm. whatever event has happened, the radiation mm -hmm. in this case, uh, years past that, where zombies have become like a normal part yeah, of life. And super people commonplace. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. I mean, I don't know about like necessarily commonplace in that they are a, a part, part of, of yeah, the a part of everyday life. Yeah. Like, uh, but but like idea, yeah. warm body zombie land, you know, that's that's a part of yeah. life now as we know it, you know, but not like we've reintegrated them into society. In this series of books that I read, the Laurel K. Hamilton, uh, Anita Blake series, mm -hmm. like there, which is funny because like as we were watching this, I was like, you couldn't do that. That's against health code regulations. You can't have zombies working near food. That's not okay. I'm uh, pretty sure this is, you know, an, an that, alternate version. This is, But that was what my mind went to, because I was like, oh, no, no, that's a different fiction, Emily. Entirely yeah. different mm -hmm. fiction. I, I really enjoyed the premise a I lot mean, more. I mean, I kind of had some of the same thoughts. Like, when I saw the zombie carrying the milk, I was like, I don't know if I'd want a zombie handling my, my food products. And I was like, well, maybe this zombie 
this like zombie mythos is different than others. So yeah, uh, yeah. Sure. Quickly let that go. It's Who fine. cares? It's fine. This was uh, funnier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I'm really glad that the dad died in the end. <laughs> like, and he got his uh, funeral. He got his he head coffin. I, I'd say that's probably the biggest thing that I was like confused about. I was like, why even bother with burial services? Just cremate everybody. Like. There you go. Problem solved. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they needed a. Maybe. I don't know that cremation was super popular in that time, but I don't know. That, that was my thought. I was like, you're sad. thinking too hard about it. I every time. <laughs> <laughs> you're looking too deep into it. Uh, yeah, like I said, very much enjoyed the premise, the idea. Uh, I, that whole movie. Until I saw the credits, I had no idea that was Billy Connolly <laughs> as Fido. I mean, maybe it's because he didn't have his normal Beard. facial hair and stuff, and longer hair. I got yeah, that that uh shocked me. I was not prepared. Oh, it was great though, and a lot of the a lot of the parts that made me laugh the most, or I thought the funniest, were like real, like just. More subtle. Very subtle, just dialogue exchanges, like not uh, over the top slapstick or anything. Mm-hmm. The main one was the commercial. Uh, <laughs> hey, Grandpa's falling and he's getting back up. Oh my God, I, bought, I almost lost it. Yeah, like. It was the <laughs> wrong time to take a drink. <laughs> what do they call it? The death alert? You yeah. Know, I like the idea of that too. Like, yeah. the, like safety buttons, alarm systems. Yes. Uh, I like how, like, like I said, the premise and like how thought out it was mm-hmm. the world with zombies. I appreciated the upfront exposition of the, uh, you know, the school, the, the video. It just kind of laid out the yeah. whole world for you. Oh, another thing I really liked is uh, one, the time period this was in, like in the uh, 50s, I'm assuming, but also that they integrated like older uh, cinema techniques, like with the rear projection yeah. and the. Like, I love the shot when Mrs. Henderson gets reanimated and it's like silhouetted and it's huge moon. And whenever uh, Timmy has to uh, take her out, like yeah. it's all done in silhouette. I really enjoyed that. thought that added a lot to it. <laughs> yeah. I liked that the two bully kids got theirs. And, oh, yeah. Uh, and mostly I just like, I loved that the mom it's... was just like, oh, yeah. I got you. I got you. Carry him off. I mean, I, I get what you're saying of the character thing, but I'm thinking of something different. I'm thinking of something different. Mm-hmm. <laughs> On my salary, I don't think I can afford another burial. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, no, the, like, burial plan for the kids. Yeah, I know, like, just... but I'm just like, dude. But that, I think that that was his whole character well, yeah, thing. Of it's course. just like he was focused on death, not life. So, like, like yeah. you said... When they were in the car, you gotta push those feelings down. It's like, well, if you're not feeling, are you even living? What's no, the point? Not. Oh, one of the other small but hilarious moments to me. I just, it stuck out in my head. <laughs> my mom and your mom thinks we should be friends. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love the way you delivered that line. It was hilarious. <laughs> it hit me kind of like the uh, good boys. It's like, my mom and dad are getting a divorce. What'd you What'd do? What'd you do? <laughs> I'm trying to think. Uh, see, this is what happens when I don't know the movie and have notes to talk about. I'm trying to, like, I'm going back through the movie in my head. real and, hard to think. Like, and I didn't want to take a whole lot of notes while watching the movie because I hadn't seen it, so I wanted to... Yeah. Be clued in. Um, I mean, I, I just enjoyed this overall. Like, I, Yeah, it was, it was funny. It was a different take on uh, zombies. And it was touching at moments, surprisingly. Yeah. Like, surprisingly heartwarming. Mm-hmm. I think Billy Connolly did a great job of conveying a lot of emotion and like... A lot of life in such a dead character. Yeah, (laughs) exactly. (laughs) He brought that zombie to life. (laughs) Anything else? Nothing I can think of off the top of my head right now, but it, uh, this will be a repeat viewing. I will watch this again. I enjoyed it I feel very like, much. Uh, yeah, I probably missed a couple things. Um, I love the music. I, I did oh, mean yeah. to say that. Like the the whole score, I thought was just perfect. You know, again, sort of that Leave It to Beaver kind of vibe. Um, just such an interesting contrast to the whole zombie situation. Yeah. Uh, did you want to rate it? Yeah. 
Um, again, I, I, I enjoyed this. Would watch it again. I'm gonna give this one, I'm gonna give it an eight. This one's an eight for me. How about right. you? Uh, for me, this is a seven. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Pippin, what's this for you? Who was absent for the movie? He's like, this was... You're pulling my hair. <laughs> says, bet you know, 10 beans. I put 10 beans up in your hair. <laughs> if y'all have anything that you can think of that you know of, any fun behind the scenes things, any tidbits, uh, please definitely make sure to leave them in the comments, especially since we didn't have any. Yes, I would be very interested. I'm going to go start looking at some things, but I always enjoy reading the comments of any kind of behind the scenes production notes. Absolutely. And uh, if you have any other suggestions that are kind of like similar to this or like, oh, well, if you like this, then you'll like this. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely let us know. What would you rate the movie? And yeah, any other fun, fun tidbits that you might have. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like the video. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And with all that being said, hope you all have a wonderful day. We will see you next time with another first time. Bye.